Hello everyone, this is a recorded video that will show the event proposal of our team, King of Comedy. First, we appreciate the opportunity given by the organization Be With You, which is a sponsor of Be With Pitch Competition. Moreover, thanks for the confirmation and the support given by the judges in the first round. We hope our presentation will bring realistic help to the newcomers of Canada. Hello, I'm Nan Zhang. I come from Shanghai, China, and currently I study at grade 10 in Stephen Lewis Secondary School. Hi, my name is Felix. I am from Pierre Elliott Trudeau High School. Hello, everyone. I'm Cindy. I'm from York News. Hi, my name is Kelly from Calgary West End College. Before we introduce our proposal, <coughs> we want to show some brief analysis of current situation of overseas students, which will be helpful to clarify our ideas. At first, like what we talk about in the essay, the phenomenon of parachute kids is also a hot topic in prison days. Secondly, cultural differentiation is the biggest barrier for overseas students to be immersed in the local communities, which would likely transform into local culture conflicts. Despite these common problems, others that are related to discrimination and racism is still remain in the darkness of society. The third would be the social contradiction, and the fourth would be some objective factor related to unfamiliar environment. The parachute kids started to emerge after 2000s, which is referring to the young overseas students or those who get bored without being accompanied by their parents. Although it represents the development of global com communication to some extent, it is still not encouraged in, uh, since it incurs problems to the growth of students on both physical and physiological stages. This group of students uh, is more vulnerable to both internal and external influence without parental company since they usually stay with family, friends, or relatives, or living homestay arrangement where a host family serves as a paid caretaker. According to a survey of 1,921 overseas students, 38% of them found living away from home far more than challenging than they had expected. And 41% of them said they found it hard to form relationship with domestic students. In an unfamiliar environment, students would typically feel homesick and lonely, which is sensitive to their mental state. Um, they would be possibilities for them to get mental illness, which would give them a heavy blow, blow to their future prospects. In these conditions, are prone to get, um, they are prone to get mental illness, such as depression and self-torture, and these certain groups of students need more care since they cannot depend on anyone in Canada. This is the negative resultants among the group of parachute kids. Overseas students would face more direct obstacles, such as the language barriers. The difference of language would absolutely impact their socialization with the locals. Thus, language can be regarded as the most significant change in the culture difference. However, it is only a superficial aspect. Behind the language, there is a distinct difference in thinking method because of the diverse backgrounds and the identities. In order to fully integrate into the community, you not only need to learn English, but you have to grasp the English thinking logic, which is the most important in long-term acculturation. Otherwise, the different backgrounds would easily cause conflicts since people from different community could have different habits and environment. Also, the behaviors. For example, Chinese prefer to be lively, which means they may seem to be a little noisy. This is more obvious during a meal since Chinese people love to talk, but like Western people like to have meals quietly. So moreover, the discrepancy of food culture also would bring discomfort to the newcomers since Eastern food focuses more on the taste, while Western food focuses more on energy. So in conclusion, um, language barriers, different backgrounds, and the food discrepancy are all the problems in the part of our cultural relation, which also incur feelings of isolation and separation. And although the cultural difference might be seen as the most crucial obstacle to the overseas students, the social contradiction could be much more harmful to their mental health than the pains of loneliness and homesickness. For instance, discrimination and racism are attributed to the post-colonialism and the concepts of racial superiority already. 
It's hard to eliminate these things because of the historical influences. Although society now is against discrimination, there are still people who believe in racial stratification and insisting on their own thoughts. Who would finally bring incurable mental damages to the immigrants and the overseas students? According to the World Services Survey showed that 91% of students were satisfied with their study experience in the United States. Although 31% of them still say that they had faced discrimination on the basis of their nationality. In addition, as most of the overseas students now are starting alone, they usually would find a homestay family as a paid caretaker, since the homestay family has no relationship with the student. Maltreatment could, could be possible to happen. Typical unfair treatment can be no food or picking up services. However, some severe issues can be sexual assaults and drug problems. In a survey of 30,500 students by the MC Query Center Society, it is said that 23.3% of girls and 5.9% of boys have been sexually abused. Moreover, the survey shows that 9.1% of homestay boys and 9.4% of girls indicated that they had used cocaine in comparison to 1.8% of immigrants and 2.9% of Canadian born. In spite of mental struggles from overseas students, objective uh, environmental factors cannot be ignored either. Canada has an arid climate. People who came from Britain and other countries which have been rainfall will feel unaccommodated. Canada is in North Hemisphere, which is close to Arctic Circle. The annual average temperature will be much more lower than countries close to equator. Heavy snowfall will also be a challenge to newcomers, especially transportation. The season in Canada is famous for its autumn to winter. However, the cold climate may scare some newcomers. In addition, another significant challenge would be the time difference. The adjustment of the biology clock will be interrupted and usually last for several weeks. If overseas students are not acclimatized to this environment in Canada, it's really possible for them to catch ill due to sudden climate change. Therefore, in order to help overseas students to tackle the issue above, there are several resources given by either the Education Bureau or the government for them to depend on. At first, newcomer students can apply for the orientation of their own school so that they can have a brief understanding of the learning structure and be more familiar with their study environment. And in addition, students can utilize public facilities facilities such as Toronto Public Library to help them uh, with their study difficulties. Um, besides the helps related to the study, students can also participate in volunteering jobs to gain more social work experience, which is uh, an important way to adapt to society and improve themselves. Also, this type of work can help overseas students integrate into the community quickly and effectively. Another resource will be the school board website, which contains your school's calendar and events plans. It is pretty helpful for students to be able to follow the um, school process and to find the certain information directly. So in order to help the overseas students with this irreversible problems, there are several solutions that can be extorted. So first, we encourage the students to establish confidence. So being confident with oneself can help bring people positive attitudes toward life. So which means they can have a better mental state to face the difficulties. And making friends would be the best way to drag yourself, your loneliness and isolation to bring about happiness. And also participating in social activities, such as volunteering jobs, can let them gain more social experiences so they can feel more comfortable as being a new member in the local community. Also, they can consult with the senior overseas students for some suggestion. And the last, improving yourself would be the most important thing because the most reliable one is always yourself. Based on the solution provided above, we're going to introduce you to our event proposal. Its name is Our Heart Will Go On. If you think it sounds familiar, Yes, it's said it from the movie Titanic. My heart will go on. The background is that we're having de determination to help newcomers adapt to the new life aboard in order to promote cultural communication. Our target audience is overseas students from all over the world. 
we welcome and support overseas students from all the countries as long as they need our help and service. In addition, we also welcome students, families, and guardians to attend our activity and meeting. We have the plan of making this event a long-term activity because overseas students are coming every year. We believe our event will help every single student. First, we want to introduce the purpose of our event. We're committed to helping international students with various aspects, which includes study, daily life, and any question they have with. And we would also provide opportunities for them to build friendship with others and assist them as much as possible in acculturation of their comfort zone. In order to eliminate the problem of isolation and discrimination for the overseas students and promote a um, benign cultural communication between the newcomers and the locals, our main goal would be construct a bridge to connect them. So in this relationship of reciprocity, overseas students and local students can understand each other and learn from each other. And the most important part of achieving this goal would be a concept that we want to promote, which is culture confidence. It refers to the full affirmation and firm confidence in people's own culture values. We believe this is the best weapon to prevent the discrimination and make the overseas students be positive. So the reason for overseas students being discriminated discriminated against is that they would feel inferior and diffident. While some local people think they have a su more superior and an and an identity and background. So in this condition, the happening of discrimination will be resulted. Thus, we encourage the overseas students to study abroad with an attitude for culture exchange rather than unilateral learning. They need to be confident with their identity and culture. Then they would be less likely to be dis dispassed. In order to accomplish this goal, we would promote a different country's culture through a series of activities, which is focused on enhancing the interaction between overseas students and the locals. The activities can be the communication of food culture, music styles, or more some traditional crafts. For overseas students and the local can build friendships and mutual respect which would put them on an equal stage. Okay, so then I want to show our event scheme, which is also the outline of our event. So at first we would prepare an application form for the people who want to join our activity or ask for any help. What they need to do is just to fill in some basic information. And the picture on the left side is a sample of the application form. While we send out the forms for propaganda and data collection, we would try to correspond to some high schools and school boards for cooperation. The main participants and propaganda will be found and held at these school boards. By the way, we would not only find overseas students at that time, but also gather some more local students who would like to help the international students. Of course, we would provide volunteering hours for them. And after that, we would hold a Zoom online conference to clarify our contents to the participants and answer their questions. Then we would make some breakout rooms at Zoom randomly online to match the locals and the overseas to form groups. One group would have two to three overseas students and six to uh, two to three the local students and six to seven overseas students. We believe it will be more convenient and faster for them to go through acculturation if they are the guide of the locals or of the overseas students. And after the groups are determined, we would ask the overseas students for their needs and let the local students in their group know how to help them. Each group member can keep contacts with each other by both Instagram or Discord. However, this is only start of the event. The event not only focuses on the overseas students getting home from locals, but also creates a mutual learning environment. In order to achieve this goal, we are planning to launch activities that is related to cultural communication and combination. In this way, we are going to hold some activities for certain cultures. For example, for Chinese students, we will host a event for local students to join, such as making dumplings and the Chinese paper cutting. In this event, the overseas student will take the role of helping the reason for this type of event is we want to eliminate the phenomenon of discrimination and racism. We believe the causes of discrimination will mainly attribute to incomprehension and the misunderstanding. As both sides of the students can learn from each other's culture, they will respect each other more. 
and we believe the school boards will be the most ideal partner for this type says that we decide to collaborate with famous school boards in Toronto, since it's a place with most students comes. So there are Toronto district school boards, Toronto Catholic school boards, and York Region district school boards. So in order to give a clear overview, this is a sample proposal of our event. Uh, starting from September 13th, we will do the propaganda with the school boards and send out the application forms. The main channel of propaganda will be social media platforms such as WeChat, Instagram, Discord, and so on. While well, this advertisement are in process, we will be the social, uh, we will contract the straight chosen school board for the activity plans, such as the set requirements and participate numbers. This procedure will uh, last for around four days until September 18th. On that day, we will be responsible for collecting the application forms and classifying the groups. Both international students and the locals will be gathered through this form. And uh, then on September 19th, we will hold a Google meeting or Zoom meeting, whatever, for the people who will attend our program. In this meeting, the international stu students and the locals will be assigned into breakout rooms randomly as a group. Then the meeting time was supposed to be start at 2 p.m. and end at 4 p.m., so about two hours in total. And the real duration will be possible be a little shorter. And we will also tell them more about our program details and services. Then we would have a week to prepare for our program set and materials. So the event will be held formally on September 25th. And owing to the cultural pandemic condition, we have prepared for two types of activity. One is offline and another is online. After the pandemic disappeared, we would hold offline events. For offline, we will start from 11 a.m. Today will be the weekend or other holidays. And after the main event, there is going to be a promote our festival and enable international students and locals to register. People who sign up have to prepare an art performance during this period, including musical instruments, uh, interest, interestment and dance, singing, etc. And it engaged people from different cultural backgrounds to have a chance to understand the world in others' eyes. Okay, so there's the main idea and plans of event proposal. So I would like to share some like our budget allocation as the last part. So for this event, we have $200 in total and we decided to put five bus into advertisement. So this money would be used for publishing the poster in order to promote the entire propaganda. So then we plan to use a hundred but for renting the activity site. So we prefer to use the site at school, but we also can rent other places if without this condition. And the last ism would be the money for the temporary employees. Although we would give volunteer hours to both the overseas students and the local, con um, local students. We also plan to hire some employees to watch for the safety and help with organizational orders. This part would be like 50 but. So, oh, okay, this is the end of our whole presentation. Thank you for listening. It's really a great pleasure for us to share the ideas of helping overseas students on this stage. And we hope our event can bring significant help to both overseas students and the locals, and in order to promote the progress of cultural combination. Again, here we offer our best wishes to all the students who study abroad and hope they will remain true to their original intention and for the head unstoppably. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank okay. you. Bye.